Hello students, good morning to one and all. So once again I am back with a new topic. So it is the third topic of your English chapter book. Okay, English textbook. Third topic. So yesterday we had the second topic, it was a poem. So today we are going to have the prose. So the name of the topic also you know it is the sound of music. So in this topic basically what the author is narrating about one of the uh, deaf girl. ओके वन यू कैन नॉट हियर ओके जो कि सुन नहीं सकती ओके डेफ गर्ल शी इज फ्रॉम वर स्कॉटलैंड ओके फ्रॉम चाइल्डहुड ऑन नॉट्स शी हैज दैट सेम प्रॉब्लम आई मीन प्रॉब्लम ऑफ हियरिंग ओके सो व्हाट इज शी वांट्स टू बिकम ए व्हाट अ म्यूजिशियन डिस्पाइट हियरिंग यू नो दैट वन यू व्हेन वन यू कैन नॉट बिकम और आल्सो सॉरी वन यू कैन नॉट हियर प्रॉपर्ली ओके If he or she wants to become an, a musician, we'll see how difficult it is. You know it. So, but he becomes um, a very famous, um, oh, sorry, musician, and uh, he suc- uh, she succeeds in her life despite her uh, problem and uh, difficulties. So this is what uh, we are going to see in this topic. So it has uh, got two parts. Okay, part one and part two. So part one we are going to see today. Okay, and uh, the words, okay, difficult words which has uh, this topic. Uh, okay, I have written everything, and uh, which uh, I have not written. Or if you find any difficult words, uh, then I will write it uh, when we write all the this uh, question and answer. There I will include all the this uh, difficult words uh, in the PDF form, email, and I will send to all of you. Okay, so let's begin. I will explain each and every sentence and each and every paragraph for this topic. The sound of music, very beautiful topic. So let me read one introduction. What the author is telling: God may have taken her hearing, but He has given her back something extraordinary. What we hear, she feels far more deeply than any of any of us. That is why she expresses music so beautifully. Okay, this is what uh, I told you in the beginning. She has a what a uh, problem of hearing. What we hear, she feels. So this is how she developed uh, her uh, developed her uh, what uh, interest of uh, learning music, and uh, she succeeded. So read the following can account of a person who fought against a physical disabilities. And made her life a success story. Okay, so in this chapter, the author is narrating the experience of this girl. Okay, this girl's name is what? A Evelyn. Evelyn Glenny. Okay, Evelyn Glenny. Her name is Evelyn Glenny. Evelyn Glenny, then uh, her mother is Isabel. Okay, Isabel Glenny. Okay, so she wants to be a musician, despite the hard of hearing. Okay, I will read each and every word and a uh, paragraph by paragraph, and I, I will explain to you. If you have any problem and difficulties regarding this chapter, then kindly let me know. Okay. In this uh, complain, uh, I mean, this uh, comment box. Kindly make me, uh, let me know, so that uh, you know, when we have the next hour, or uh, yes, the next hour, when we deal the what the second uh, part of this one, I will clarify your doubts. Okay, so let's begin. Rush our crowds, jostle for positions on the underground and the train platform. A slight girl, looking younger than her 17 years. Was nervous yet excited, and she felt the vibration of the approaching train. It was her first day at the prestigious Royal Academy of Music in London, and a daunting enough for any teenager fresh from a Scottish farm. But this aspiring musician faced a bigger challenge than most. She was profoundly deaf. So, as I told you in the beginning, okay, this girl was it. Born deaf, who Evelyn Glenny. Okay, but uh, 
she wants to be a what a, a musician. She is a, so in the first paragraph I am telling, okay, explaining. She is from where? She is from Scotland. Okay, then the Scottish girl is mentioned. In Scottish farm. Okay, the Scotland is the name of a country. When you use it, it is as an adjective, proper adjective. That time we use it. How it is Scottish? As we use Indian. Okay, the same way they use it in Scottish. Okay, so uh, Josal means what? Here it is there. Josal means pushed roughly. Okay, Dhaka Manna. Okay, that's the meaning of Josal. So she uh, had she had to go to the Royal Academy Music. Okay, Royal Academy Music. Where it is in London. So she wants to go to uh, uh, that academy and perform that day so he had therefore she where she came to the railway station to catch the train but uh, you know that she cannot uh, hear the what noise of the this or noise or the sound of or the horn of uh, the train but she can only feel and this, by feeling that one okay or the vibration now when train comes okay she feel, feels the vibration and uh, she was uh, excited then is the first paragraph, then second one. Evelyn Glenny Lowe's of hearings had been gradually her mother sorry, Evelyn Glenny's loss of hearing had been gradual. Okay. Her mother remembers noticing something was wrong when the eight years old Evelyn was waiting to play the piano. They called her name and she did not move. I suddenly realized she did not hire she did, she had not heard, says Isabel Glenny. For quite a while, Evelyn managed to conceal her growing deafness from friends and teachers. But by the time she was 11, her marks had deteriorated. Deteriorated means to destroy. Okay, what I said, ruined, getting ruined. And her headmistress urged her parents to take her to the Specialist. So it was then discovered that uh, her hearing was severely impaired. Impaired means weakened. Okay, weakened. Impaired. And they were advised that uh, she should be lift, uh, she should be fitted with he hearing aids. Okay, hearing aids. Aids means help. Okay. So it is type of a hearing machine. Okay, that is called hearing aids. And uh, sent it to a school for a deaf. Everything suddenly looked black, says Evelyn. So, uh, this is problem of hearing for this girl, Evelyn Glenny. It was a gradual, okay, slowly it began and it became very difficult in, his, in her life. So, when he was eight years old, okay, who Evelyn was when she was eight years old, that time her mother noticed that, okay, she called many times, but she did not respond. So, in the, so at the age of age of eighty, she, but the mother, Isabella Glenny, okay, Isabella Glenny, uh, felt that uh, she is hard of hearing. Then at the age of eleven, okay, she used to go to the school, but uh, but uh, she used to hide her uh, what uh, the this disabilities of hearing from other teacher and students. But at the age of eleven, okay, at the age of eleven years. Uh, her headmistress compelled the parents of Evelyn to take to the this specialist and give her the what is hearing aids. That is the meaning of this in the second paragraph. And the third one is but even was but Evelyn was not going to give up. She was determined to lead a normal life and pursue her interest in music. One day she noticed a girl playing a xylophone and decided, decided that she wanted to play it too. Most of the teachers discouraged her, but the percussionist, okay, percussionist means one who plays the drum or is tabla. Okay, that is it. So he is called what a percussionist. So her name is Ron Forbes spotted her potential okay he began to turning uh, tuning 
two large drums to different tones. Don't listen through your ears, he would say. Try to sense it some other way, says Evelyn. Suddenly I realized I could feel the higher drum from the waist up and the lower one from the waist down. Forbes repeated the exercise and soon Evelyn discovered that she could sense certain notes in the different parts of her body. I had learned to open my mind and body to sound and vibration. The rest was she determination and hard work. So in this paragraph, what Evelyn is telling that one, uh, she wanted to play a, what a, a xylophone. Okay. The elephant is a musical instrument. Okay. It is made of wood. So, but he, she cannot hear. We know that. But she wanted to play the, that musical instrument. So, one day, her interest or its potential, okay, I mean it's a hidden, uh, hidden talent. Okay, what do you call it? Is a hidden talent. Potential means what is called? Okay, I will write it. Okay. This meaning also I will write it and send to you. Potential means it is what the quality of ability. Okay, but it is not seen. Okay, that was noticed by whom? The this a percussionist, one who plays the trap. Okay, he noticed that Evelyn could not hear, but she started to feel the sound of sound of music. What she was what he was creating. Okay, by and this is a drum or a tabla. So, so when he was uh, tuning up the high pitch that time, Evelyn was able to feel that high pitch, uh, high pitch through his body. I mean above the waist. When she, when she, sorry, when uh, this uh, percussionist was tuning down the this is sound of the drum or a tabla, that time Evelyn started feeling. A feeling that a low sound from below her waist. So this is how she started feeling. Okay, not hearing the sound of music. Okay, and a, uh, what the percussionist used to tell her that one, don't hear through your ears, but hear in some other way. Okay, some other way means uh, she told that uh, to hear or else to feel the sound of music okay this is what in the third one and the fourth one is in, and i will read it okay she never looked back from that point onwards she tutored the united kingdom with a youth orchestra and by the time she was 16 she had decided to make music her life she auditioned for the royal academy of music and scored one of the highest marks in the history of the academy. She gradually moved from orchestral work to solo performance at the end of the three years course. She had captured most of the top awards. So in the fourth one, okay, she wanted to, okay, in the fourth one, um, paragraph, she, who, Evelyn wants to go to, which one, United, United Kingdom. United Kingdom, where she won the, where she had to perform her water audition. I mean the stage performance. Okay, audition which is a stage performance, which is judged by many judges. Okay, juries will be there. They will judge according to the performance. Then they will decide that whether she has to or else she has to get the reward or not. So in that uh, uh, musical competition, who Evelyn wanted to go. And he and she went and performed uh, at the Royal Academy of Music in the United Kingdom in London. And then he also scored the highest mark in the history of uh, this musical academy. And uh, he she was 16 years of old. That is the fourth part. And the next one for. And for all this, Evelyn won't accept any hint of heroic achievement. If you work hard and know where you are going, you will get there. And she got right to the top. And the world's most sought after multi percussionist with a mastery of some thousand instruments 
and a hectic international study. So, in this, in the fifth paragraph, what Evelyn is suggesting to all the people is, if we try hard, then there is no difficulties or there is nothing like impossible uh, happens to achieve our goal. Okay. So, the next one is, it is intriguing to watch Evelyn functions so effortlessly without hearing. In our two hours discussion, she never missed a word. Men with bushy beards gave me trouble. She laughed. So it is not just watching the lips, it is the whole face, especially the eyes. She speaks flawlessly with a Scottish plane. My speech is clear because I could hear till I was 11. She says, but <clears throat> that does not explain how she managed to learn French and uh, master basic Japanese. So in this, in this paragraph, uh, what Evelyn is telling that one is, uh, you know, all the, Evelyn, Evelyn is telling that one, I, I was able to hear at the age of 11. Okay, not through the ears, but uh, through something else. Okay, here in this paragraph also, the author says that one, uh, okay, but he says that, uh, uh, people or you say that those who were there with her they were astounded or also surprised to know that uh, she was she never missed even a single word to hear okay when they were uh, even uh, making fun or else uh, cracking any jokes in that time that also she enjoyed so here it is a here it is taught men with bushy beard gives me trouble okay so hearing this one what uh, Evelyn laughed okay and also, beside that one also, she she has responded to the discussion what they had in her mother tongue. So beside that one, without hearing, she also could learn even the foreign language like French and also Japanese. That is the meaning of this part. And the next one. As for music, she explains, it pours in through every part of my body. It tingles. English means to prick. Okay. It means to cause a slight prickling. Okay. I mean like this when you touch. Okay. When you or else when you cough. That is the meaning of a thing. It pours. It pours in through every part of my body. It tingles in the skin, my cheekbones. Okay. And cheekbones means this one. Okay. Cheekbones in my hair. When she plays the xylophone. She can sense the sound passing up the stick into her fingers, fingertips. By leaning against the drums, she can feel the resonance. Resonance means echo or sound. Okay, echo. The resonance means echoes or also sound. The flowing into her body. On a wooden platform, she removes her shoes so that. The vibration pass through her bare feet and up her leg. So this is in this <coughs> in this paragraph of what Evelyn is telling that one is when she plays the xylophone. Okay, when she plays the xylophone. Okay, so xylophone is an instrument. Okay, musical instrument we play with a wooden stick. Okay, when she plays that one, the vibration of that music sound of music it goes through okay goes through that that two stick okay which is uh, she is handling okay it goes through that stick and uh, feels then he feels by his finger this is how she is used to hear okay that is the meaning of this part the next one is not surprisingly Evelyn delights her audience in 1991, she was presented to the Royal uh, Philharmonic Society prestigious soloist of the year award, says master percussionist James Blades. God may have taken her hearing, but he has, but he has given her back something extraordinary. What we hear, she feels far more deeply than any of us. That is why she expresses music so beautifully. So in this is paragraph of what the author is telling that one. 
Evelyn surprised everyone. When? 1991. Okay, 1991 Evelyn surprised everyone. Okay, by getting the prestigious award for the music that is the Royal Philharmonic, Philharmonic Society. Okay, so it was given not for the group but it was given only to the single person. That is why it is written the soloist of the year award. Soloist means alone. Okay, not the group. So this is how she surprised the people like by begging this prestigious soloist award. Then here uh, uh, this is percussionist. I mean the man who I know who know plays the drum also Tabula says that one. What has given her the hearing power through different way, not through the ears. Though he has taken uh, the good though God has taken the hearing power or what we hear through ears that is taken from her but she God had given God has given the hearing capacity through uh, different way that is what uh, in this uh, paragraph is telling okay and yeah, next one <clears throat> Evelyn Evelyn confesses that she is something of a workaholic I have just to go to work often harder than the classical musicians but the rewards are enormous apart from the regular concerts Evelyn also gives free concerts in prisons and hospitals. She also gives a high priority to classes for young musicians. Unreaching of the uh, Beethoven Fund for Dear no, Fund for Deaf Children says she is a shining inspiration for deaf children. They see that there is nowhere that they can go. Okay, so Evelyn confesses that one. Okay, she is what a work colleague. You know that work, meaning of work colleague. Work, work colleague. So one who is addicted to some some kind of activities or also work. Okay, so that person we call it work colleague. You know, another word also, example is there. If I tell, you will understand better. Many of you know the meaning of alcohol. Okay. Alcohol when you change the person one who drinks is called what an alcoholic. So in that way, this word is used work workaholic. Because we uh, I mean with, with all interest, with all our mind and hearts, we are committed to some particular of uh, activities or this work is called what alcoholic. So this is workaholic. So in this paragraph, the author is telling that one, even if he was al workaholic. Okay. Evening was work on Evening. She was completely addicted to the work of music. Okay, that is why here it is due to the work only. Okay, then but in this paragraph also the two uh, this is one of for this is this fellow fund for the deaf children. Okay, fund for the deaf children. This called what is the sound? Beethoven Fund for the Deaf Children says that one uh, Evelyn is an inspiration for the this, uh, physically handicapped or the disabled persons one who cannot hear. Okay, she is an inspiration for the uh, children. So the last one is there. Okay, for today's paragraph, today the last paragraph I will tell you. Then the next part is it. Okay, another part is there. Other, as I told you. Okay. It has got to two parts. First part we will see today, and then today this is the last part of this. First, sorry, last paragraph of this. First part. So let me read it. Evelyn Glennie has already accomplished more than most people twice her age. She has brought percussion to the front of the orchestra and demonstrated that it can be very moving. She has given the inspiration to those who are handicapped, people who look to her and say, if she can do it, I can. And not the least, she has given enormous pleasure to the millions. So in the last paragraph of this first part, says that runner, so Evelyn has become an inspiration for the student, for the, uh, for the people. Okay, for the people those who cannot hear, okay, those who are impaired or also weakened physically. 
Okay. I mean, especially those who cannot hear, to such kind of uh, uh, children, to such kind of people, Evelyn has become a burning example or an inspiration. Okay, this is how the first part of today's chapter, the sound of music, comes to an end. Okay. So, for the next class, we will resume the second part of this. Okay, the sound of music. But uh, the second part has got a different uh, title. Okay. That uh, we will see in the next class. So thank you so much for listening me patiently. Have a nice day.